Welcome to Tennis Spin, where you put our spin on your tennis. Thank you, Alexis, for that great introduction. So, guys, um, hold on a second. You want to support my coffee habit? Network is called Buy Me a Coffee backslash tennis spin. Link is below. All right, guys. So, I wanted to discuss prices with you today. Um, you know, tennis has been pretty, you know, consistent for, you know, pretty much 20 years or a little more than that. Um, because of the pandemic, um, prices are actually going up to myself, to the retailers, and to the online guys. So there are surcharges from certain companies. I've gotten emails from other companies that says, starting September 1st, everything is going up across the board. So, tennis rackets, shoes, balls, grips, strings, clothing. Clothing is, goes up pretty much every year, a certain percentage. Rackets have been going up after every generation switch. So after every two years, I see it going up about $10. And that's been pretty consistent in the last, I want to say, three to five years. But um, we're going to see, um, you know, a good lift in the next uh, month or so. Um, the ball prices, your you're going to see for sure. Uh, so, cause the supply chain is screwed up. Um, everybody's charging more to ship things. Uh, every, you know, the gas price is up to get stuff to the warehouse to get the stuff to me. So, you know, UPS, FedEx, those guys are charging more now. So just across the board, you know, from the, the, the minute it leaves the production in China, you know, to get on those big cartons to get on the ship, uh, that's costing more, right? For it to sail over, you know, that gas that it takes, costing more. When it gets to the dock after waiting there for a couple months, um, the union guys, right, got to get it on the, the magnetic thing into the forklifts, into the trucks to get to, let's say, Chicago for Wilson, their warehouse um, costing more. And then for them to pack it and then ship it again to, let's say, me, costing more. So, so many people have to handle it, right? So many people have to use energy and gas to get it over to me, to get it to you. So, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, uh, racket, you know, the higher end rackets are going to stabilize at about $249. Um, so $250 is going to be the sweet spot in most rackets um, moving forward. They're going to try to reach that threshold. Um, shoes, you're probably going to be looking at $140 to $150 into the $160 realm uh, for shoes moving forward. Uh, strings, as you see what some of the prices have gone up a buck or two. If you've bought strings online, uh, they're no longer 20, they're $22 for, let's say, Gamma Professional. So that will continue to kind of, you know, tick up a little bit. But, you know, strings have been very consistent for, I want to say, at least 10 to 20 years. I mean, there has been zero um, uptick there. Uh, grips, you'll see it go up a dollar or so um, here or there in the next few months to a year. Clothing, as I said, uh, has kind of always went up about $3 to $5 kind of every year. Um, the major increase you're going to see is going to be balls. Because as I always say, nobody makes money on tennis balls except for the shipping companies and the gas. Because it just takes so much effort, 
you know, to ship me 12 cases of balls so I could sell it to you for, you know, for not making anything, right? So I make like a quarter on a can of balls. So, you know, but I need them so that you guys can play. But uh, you will we'll see definitely an increase in balls. Um, as you guys know, if you live in Europe or Asia, um, it's balls are like 10 to $14 a can over there. I mean, we've kind of kept it consistent in America uh, from anywhere from like $2 or, you know, a little less than $2 you buy it at Costco um, up to about $4 uh, for like a U.S. Open ball or a Propen Marathon ball. So, you know, we've kept it as low as we could because, you know, to us, they're throwaways. You use it once, you don't use it again, right? So, but balls you'll see probably start ticking up to about $5 a can for the premium stuff. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's not looking great. I mean, like, like I said, these companies are charging me surcharges for even just shipping it to me across the board. I've been warned five to 10% increases for everything. Therefore, um, the prices charged to the consumer will also increase. So, Sorry to say it's, it's affecting, uh, the tennis bottom line now. Um, and it's, you know, it's unfortunate. I mean, we're, you know, it, it hit the beef market, you know, it even hit the pork market, but now it's hit the tennis market. So, I mean, just wanted to warn you guys because that, that is definitely coming and coming very, very soon. Okay. So if you see something you like and it's on clearance or on sale somewhere at your local uh, store or at Dick's or something like that, you might want to load up on that overgrip or, you know, some of those balls now. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.